Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. Today we're going to be checking out a device that has one of the more interesting shapes I've seen, however, still very excited. Polk was nice enough to send this over and shout out to them for sponsoring this video as well. I'm going to be opening this up, undoing an unboxing of it, and also setting it up and giving some examples with this soundbar, which actually has Amazon Alexa built in. So you have those voice commands that you can do not only on the soundbar itself, but with the remote. The command bar is actually on sale now. I will link to it in the description. And as always with soundbars, you would like an extra sub. And luckily enough, this Polk command bar does include one, as you can see on the front of the box. But anyways, let's go ahead and open this up, check it out, and see what it's all about. Let's get started. Hey. So here is the command bar from Polk, and it's actually the first announced Voice controlled soundbar with Amazon Alexa voice services built directly into the soundbar. Let's pan over, show off a couple features I wanna mention. 4K HDR, Dolby Audio, and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities built into the soundbar. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what's inside. Right away, it looks like you get some literature. Here is the command bar quick start guide, how to get started with Alexa, uh, actually mounting templates. You can actually mount this soundbar, which is a nice addition. And then right here, important product information. Lifting up the styrofoam is where the soundbar itself is and all of the extras. Let's open these up and I'll show them off. Polk includes two cables, one six and a half foot HDMI cable and a six foot optical cable for the audio. You also have your power cables for not only the soundbar but also the subwoofer as well because the subwoofer is separate. In this fancy pouch is the remote itself. I'll show that off more in depth in just a second, but here it is. It has some nice grip to the top, a rubbery feel to it, and they did include the double, the two AAA batteries. Thankfully, it is the worst when companies don't include the batteries. Next, we have the wireless subwoofer, which is a six inch sub. Here is a look at the bottom, and then I wanna actually show you the inputs that it has on the back, including a bar sink, and then of course your input for power. And last but not least is the command bar itself. Here is a close up look of it uh, right out of the box. Really sleek looking device. You'll see it almost looks like a, an Amazon Echo Dot just placed in the middle of this sound bar. On the front here it says poke. I actually kind of want to flip it over carefully not to whack my camera. And you'll see uh, you have a bunch of different inputs. You have power, USB, uh, sub sync, and then it, you have an HDMI one and uh, HDMI out TV arc. And then you also have your optical input as well. Now you have two HDMI slots right here. You see Amazon Fire TV compatible, and you do have a decent amount of space right there for the HDMI to fit into. And then of course, if you need to drive it some power, you have a USB output. Definitely worth mentioning, this works with other video streaming devices as well, not just Amazon Fire TV, but it is also Amazon Fire TV compatible. So there we have it, everything in the box. It's now time to set up the command bar, hook it up to my TV. So here is the command bar all set up and ready to go. Very easy setup process. I plugged in the ARC HDMI cable into the ARC HDMI input on my TV, and that should be all it takes. I haven't plugged it in just yet. I will do that for the first time and show off the setup process. And then of course on the right side here is where I put that subwoofer. It needs to go along the same wall on the right or left side. All right, so plugging it in and letting it boot up for the first time, we are all ready to go. Let's see if it says something. It should, I believe Alexa should talk to you. Your Polk Command soundbar is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in the Polk Connect app. All right, so let's download the Polk Connect app and get things going. So I've got the app all ready to go. Welcome to the Poke command bar. Let's go ahead and hit next. Uh, I do not have an account, so I will create one real quick. So after creating the account, looks like we need to go ahead and plug it on in and connect it to the Wi-Fi. Wait for that orange light, which you'll see on the left side. It is rolling through. So let's hit next and connect it to the Wi-Fi. All right, nice. You got some audio feedback saying we are now connected. Let's hit next and keep rolling on through. So I connected it to my Wi-Fi selected family room and now it includes access to Amazon Alexa. So we need to sign in with Amazon to access all of these personal, personalized features. All right, pull command bar is all set up and ready to use. Here's some things you can try 
play music, what is this song, switch inputs, set an alarm, turn up the volume. Alexa, turn up the volume. There we go, turn up the volume, very easy. Uh, let's go ahead and test things out and talk more about the command bar itself. A nice feature of the soundbar is that it can install over the air updates like it's doing right now. So Poke will always keep you updated with the latest and greatest from Amazon and themselves. So I plugged in the sub and it automatically connected to the command bar. It's now re-updating and rebooting. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and check out the remote that comes with it. As I said, nice soft touch grip to the top of it. You also have play, uh, play pause, skip buttons. You have different modes for the sound. You have volume, you have the voice up and down, and then you can also control the bass with the remote. Here is the Bluetooth button. You can switch inputs to TV, HDMI one and two, mute, put it in a night mode, or actually activate the Alexa voice command. So let's test out some audio with the command bar. And it's supposed to have big dynamic sound, room filling, home theater experience. It actually has two one by three inch performance tune full range drivers and two one inch tweeters as well. And of course the sub on the side. So let's go ahead and test it out. I will go ahead and vary the audio as we watch. Now, all right, so there you go. I have it up to 80 right now and you'll see it does integrate with uh, the display on the te television as well because I'm using that HDMI cable. Let me go ahead and turn it down a little bit. There is some uh, coloring on top as well, but let's go ahead and try and turn it up really loud while we're watching a video and actually go ahead and try and activate Alexa. Of course, up at the top. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5.14 p.m. What matters to me is when I have a Alexa, what's the weather like right now? Currently, in Chicago, it's 81 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. Okay, so I just muted it, but you'll see that it actually uh, turns down the audio that's playing on the television, so you can go ahead and talk to it. And you'll see, even when it was very loud, it was actually activating, as I said, the uh, control word. So let's test out an audio sample of a non-copyrighted song, just so you can kind of hear the bass, hear some music as well. I will vary the audio. So let's go ahead and hit play. It's about at 40 right now, so not even at 50% yet. And I'll talk throughout it so you guys can kind of hear how loud it gets. I'm turning it up now. This is at 75 now, so this is all the way up to 75. Still not hearing any distortion, anything like that. Everything's very full. I'm gonna get it all the way up to 100 now. probably two rooms worth of my apartment. And these icons up at the top aren't there just for show. They are physical buttons to change the volume up and down when you press it. You can actually mute the command bar, gives you visual feedback, changing the ring to red. And then this button actually activates Amazon. There's a ton of different commands you can do. You can set up so many different things. Let's press it. What comedy movies are showing this weekend? Comedies playing near you this weekend. Hotel Transylvania 3, Summer Vacation, Big. And you'll see it's just going through a list and that's just one example of something you can ask Amazon. So that's about it for the Polk Command Bar. Lots of really cool features. Audio sounds fantastic, gets really loud, doesn't sound distorted whatsoever. You have a bunch of different modes. You have movie mode, sports mode, music mode to customize it to your liking. And of course, with the Amazon Alexa integration, you really have a lot of commands that you can do. You could switch your inputs. You can turn up volume. You can play specific things on Netflix if you'd like to. You can ask how your commute is, order things from Amazon, ask about your calendar. As you can see, uh, connections to smart home, turn the lights on and off, change your thermostat. Just so many different options considering there is the Amazon Alexa built into the command bar. Anyways, let me know what you think about the command bar. Drop a comment. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.